2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Luke Elby alongside Rich Beam here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is gonna pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable, but still having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course. Do the players need to roll the dice, have a little gamble out on that course? I think you have to gamble everywhere on the PGA Tour, but in Las Vegas, I think it's required, isn't it? You're rude not to. Oh, I can't wait. Salivating to see how today's play goes. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Straight back up into the breeze. It's going to be a tough one. All right, he's going with a little extra club. Gone against the caddy here. Let's see if it was the right shout. And he's safely on the green. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? They've just got to focus on hitting the back of the cup, guys. This is up the hill, but of extra juice needed. It's on a great line. Yeah, it's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. And that should calm whatever nerves this player has. Nice opening hole. Currently one under for the day. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four, measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill, so a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back with the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Well struck from about 130 yards here. Breeze coming right into his melon. Yeah, the wind's really starting to blow, but that didn't phase them. A little nine foot chance here. Little birdie look in here. And down it goes. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Hey man on the ground, John, he's down there. What's the news? Hello up there. We are checking in down here with Lydia Ko as she gets set for her next shot here on the 14th. Oh, oh, that's clutch. What a way to save your par. What an amazing play out of the greenside bunker. Up and in the hole. Nicely done. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four, measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Oh, absolutely flushed. 
playing from around 110 yards out. Oh, that's a great approach shot. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Good looking putt. Oh, that looks like a pure stroke. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. The fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four, measuring 450 yards from the back tees. The fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided. Really, not much to this hole, just be accurate on approach. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. I tell you what, they're set up quite nicely through the first opening holes. Birdies galore. They've chosen to club down here. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Well, good chance to take it even deeper here. This putt's for four under. That's disappointing. Wanted to get it up to the hole, but was just unable to up that slope. Yeah, we'll take that. Unreal display this week with that wand. Currently at three under for the day. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. This one looks to be heading towards the green. Oh, wonderful shot. And a chance for birdie at the fifth. The putt is underway. You can mark it down. That's birdie number four today. And that will take him to four under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a snaking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Not bad. Time to catch up with the Canadian, Brooke Henderson. I can watch shots like this all day, every day. Well, there's a scorecard saver, Rich. That's perfection.
And back to the play, shall we? Second shot here on the sixth. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Putting for birdie. I like the look of this. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, he'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. Well, doesn't take a genius to know that this is not a good place to be. Yes, it is awful. Awful, yucky, smelly, stinky, and there's a bunch of other words I could use, but it's just flat out nasty. Good luck. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Was on a good line. Five feet coming up to the cup. Well done. Currently five under overall. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided, so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. And they've been rolling the ball great today. Another great look. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And that will move into six under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safely in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. for the five iron. Not a bad play, that one. And this putt to move into the top 20. This is on a stupendous line. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. A birdie putter waits. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. This was his third. Pure class by Morikawa to get it that close to the hole. And now we can take a look at how that play affects the leaderboard.
The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The 10th, the TPC Sutherland, is the beginning hole of a back nine that has many challenges and also a lot of fun holes. Not overly long at 420 yards. You're just trying to avoid any trouble off the tee so you can get a clear shot at this green. A chance to begin the back nine with a birdie. Oh, that's piped. That's heading down the runway. A tidy looking shot that one. Just putting on a ball striking clinic it seems today, Rich. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. That's an absolute peach. Well played. Right on four feet. Should make this one. This is what they have left for birdie here. Looking good so far. Trailing by seven after that hole. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. Par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. They have put some hurt on that ball. Send it. As we test ourselves here in the closing nine at TPC Summerlin, what's the second shot into 11 like? It's a very unfriendly second shot. This green sits above the fairway a good four to five feet. If you hit it long, you've got no hope of getting it up and down. A very scary shot, to say the least. If you walk away from a par here, happy days. Trying to get to nine under for the event with this opportunity. They've made it. That's nine under par for the event. The 12th here at Summerlin is another short par four. 442 yards off the tits, but plays slightly downhill and leaves just a short iron approach. The only real danger here is the big body of water that starts around 150 yards short and goes right up past the green. Ah, great shot. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. This one's dialed in. Ooh, nice putt to make for a birdie.
He's in a share of 15th. The 13th at TPC Summerlin is a monster par five, measuring over 600 yards from the back tees. The big hitters with a tail breeze can cover that bunker on the left-hand side. But if you want to lay up, make sure you've given yourself the right number because there's a lot to this green and plenty of ways to three-putt it. Be careful on approach. And this player is really going after it here, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. A chance to move into the top five on the leaderboard. A good putt to make. Ouch, that hurts. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Now four back after that hole. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long part. Opting for the 9 iron. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Hey guys, we are checking in down here with Justin Rose as he gets set for his next shot here on the 18th. And back to the course with the live action. Good opportunity coming up to move into the top 10 on the leaderboard. Oh, terrific, what an effort. And he dances his way into the top 10 after that delightful shot. He's currently tied for sixth. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The 15th, the TPC Sutherland, is a great short par four. In fact, a lot will try and drive it in the tournament. If you want to lay it back, you've got around about 115 yards uphill to a green where you can't see those back hole locations. However, a good aggressive play here must avoid the pot bunkers around the greens or the big waste area to the left. A chance to make a birdie here or even an eagle. That a boy, good shot. Oh, this would be a good putt to make and with it, a share of third spot. Oh, just missed. This part of about seven feet to the hole. So far, so good. And that will drop in for a birdie. Sitting at minus 13 for the round.
The 16th at TPC Sumlin is another one of those great scoring holes en route to the finish. A par five playing 560 yards. A well-struck drive up the right half here gives you a chance to get at this green in two. If you are going for the green, make sure you've got enough club because that huge penalty area in front of it will ruin any score. Be careful going through the green here as well because getting down from over the back is not that easy. Our coverage continues at the last. This shot's about 110 yards out. Great looking shot, this. Nice job. That's the way to get it done. Put a birdie on the scorecard and walk off with your shoulders back, your chest up and your chin high. Be proud. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? Setting up here from about 175 yards. Wow, what a shot. And this putt to move into a share of first. And that's a great putt for an eagle. To the top five he goes. Currently 15 under par for the round. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The 17th at TPC Summerlin is a downhill par three playing 196 yards. Jonathan Bird once famously holed out in the playoff here to snatch the title. The green shapes right to left towards the hazard. So make sure if you're going to go for it, be very accurate. Opting for the six iron. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Yep, that shot safely on the green. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. Their short game has been very impressive. They've been really sharp today. He finds himself in a share of the lead. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And what's in front of them there, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. <laughs> Wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for birdie. And that'll be all she wrote today.